John Larivé used to have a, a shop, and, and John Larivé, of course, is Jean Larivé, as he now goes by, is, of course, sort of the, one of the kind of father figures in some ways of Canadian guitar building because he really, he took certain European craft traditions of guitar building and adapted them to the steel string guitar, adapted them to the kind of folk guitar that you know, people wanted to play with a balanced tone and would be good for leads or good for chords or, you know, versatile, strong steel string instruments. And, and so, you know, from, from Jean Larivé, you know, Grit and Linda Manzer and David Wren and, you know, Serge de Young and all these different people have in turn, you know, f created a, there's a, you know, large community of outstanding builders that of which Grid is certainly one of the most um, noteworthy of, of all those builders. And of course, in terms of guitar building, you know, the, Grit's guitars and his, all the instruments that he builds, there are so many things which set them apart. I mean, and first and foremost of all is their playability, the sound they make. This first and foremost to me, anyway. Different people will have different takes on what's first and foremost. but. To me, that's the main thing. It's, it's, it's an instrument, it's a musical instrument. It's meant to be played. And so Grit's guitars play great and sound great. And he works with each person that he's building his guitar for to make a unique instrument that's going to suit their needs. And how, you know, the shape of the neck and the curve on the, on the fingerboard and all these kinds of things. And, you know, when I, when I went to get my six string guitar made and he said, well, how, how high do you want the frets to go up? And, how high can I get them? You know, and, and so we, you know, well, they can go to E flat because I, you know, I, he didn't want to compromise the sound. That was the highest we could go without compromising the sound. But that's the kind of incredible attention to detail and the ability to translate that attention into something which pays incredible results. Now, with Grit's guitars, obviously the first thing that most people see are these amazing inlays. And, you know, he's, he's an art, just a visual artist of the highest order. But, but for me, as a musician, that's great. I love the inlays. He's fantastic. I have, you know, huge respect for him as an artist, but he makes great instruments to play.